Hello everybody, P here. Welcome back to another Thursday Theorist Review. Today we're talking about the second book in If It Bleeds, uh, Life of Chuck. <laughs> I always forget uh, the name of this story. Uh, it comes to me rather quickly, but I always stumble thinking of the name of this book. Um, I, I really enjoyed the, the structure of this one. Um, I'm going to put a spoiler warning uh, here at the beginning. All of my Thursday Theorist videos are loaded with spoilers for all of Stephen King's work. Um, today we're going to be talking about connections with the Langoliers. If you're new to this series, um, I highly suggest going back and watching it from episode one. Uh, I have over 50 episodes at this point for Thursday Theories where I connect all of Stephen King's work to the Dark Tower and the King universe as a whole. Um, with, with this one, uh, and my connection for Langoliers real quick is the, the thinny, you know, that they, they travel through. Uh, or the, the Aurora Borealis, or the Rip in Time, or whatever you want to call it. I consider it a thinny. That's my, my connection to the Dark Tower. This is a theory. It's not been supported. Well, I, I support it in the video that I did for it, but um, it's not supported by King or on the Dark Tower uh, threads, that kind of thing, or the official connections to the Dark Tower. With, uh, with this one... Th this one's going to cause maybe maybe not controversy, but maybe some... Uh, this is going to be one of those ones like Carrie. A lot of people disagreed with my uh, theory video for Carrie. That you might disagree with me on this one. I'm going to try and give you my talking points. But again, it's just a theory, and this is all for fun. This isn't facts, okay? Um, so with this one, I got a very, very strong vibe from this one that it connects to the Langoliers. There are certain scenes in the book, and the book is told in reverse. Um, it starts with Act 3, goes to Act 2, goes to Act 1, and then it ends. Another a theme of the Langoliers that I find interesting is the idea that we need to live in the moment. There is no going back. You need to enjoy this life as it comes about. And if you try to go back, back you're, all you're going to find is destruction or, uh, or nothingness by the end of it. And one of the things that really connected hard for me was watching the stars in the sky blink out and just completely disappear as if the universe was being eaten. Um, so I am going to connect this to Langoliers in that aspect because I do feel like time is being eaten up. Uh, if I, I, that's, the, that's the best way um, I can describe it, and it's the way that, you know, the Langoliers just take up time or eat up time. They, they devour it. And that's kind of what it feels like here. Um, I don't really agree with uh, the idea that this book ties into the stand. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see it. Yes, it is an end-of-the-world scenario, but other than that, I feel it ties more into the Langoliers. Now, I may be completely off, and if you want to uh, explain to me why I, I am completely out of touch uh, <laughs> down there in the doobly-doo, please do. I don't mind it. Uh, in fact, if you make a good argument, I'll pin you. Um, so, this one, that's how I'm going to connect this one. Sorry, these videos, uh, these individual videos are short, um, but like I said in the last one, I'm doing these because my internet isn't so great. I'm trying to get them up. And if I put all these things together, I am pretty sure it will be a 30, 45 minute video, especially with the next episode with If It Bleeds, because, oh my god, um, there is so much content in there, so much validation for, for so many of my theories that haven't been confirmed by Stephen King. That, that story alone connects everything that I have connected myself without any input from King himself. So because this is a spoiler heavy video, Feel free to tell me exactly what scenes you liked, what stuff you liked, what themes you liked, and especially tell me what you didn't like, why you thought this book was meh, or it was terrible, or whatever. Let me know those things, and if, if I don't have anybody to pin for other reasons, I'll pin you. Um, the, I, I think, I, I do want to know how many people actually feel that this ties into the stand, so I'm going to leave that question for you also. How and why do you think this one ties into the stand outside of the apocalyptic scenario or end of the world scenario? Leave all your comments down there in the doobly-doo. Let me know if I missed anything, any connections to the rest of Stephen King's universe. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!